Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Let's read it together, please. It's projected. One to read. Now, thanks be. Aha. Uh -huh. Stop. How many times? How often? It says, Now, thanks be to God, which always, always caused us to triumph in Christ and makes through that triumph manifest the savour of the knowledge by us in every place this is a very powerful scripture now thanks be unto god who causes us the word causes is is not is not um i'm looking for the best way to describe it so we understand I don't want to use the word assist that may look um, very inferior but that is the context in which this was written the word causes is not necessarily make us do it the word causes is like a volunteer I ask you whether or not you need my assistance are we together and if you declare that you need my assistance then I help you are we together now it's a ministry of the Holy Spirit thanks be to God the Holy Ghost which causes us to triumph in Christ and makes manifest the sever of his knowledge by us let me tell you what this means through the victory that we keep commanding he uses us to explain to the world what he has been trying to tell them about trusting him about believing in him so he says i've been trying to tell you god is good i've been tell to tell you god is victorious but it looks like you need a pictorial representation you need a dramatization of that so i use a man and grant through that man perpetual victory so that through his results you will understand what i've been trying to say so god is saying this year i don't want to talk too much i want men to see i've been talking depend on me i've been talking i want you to prosper i have been talking i want to lift you but now many people are saying what is the difference between you and buddha and he says hey, Jimmy, come i will use your life like a trophy to show men the benefit of serving him so the message will not be an explanation the message will be a demonstration something about your life will be an epistle are we together now now thanks be unto god which causes us always to triumph write this word down triumph let's look at it the word triumph is a very interesting word i'll give you three definitions number one triumph is the condition of being victorious the condition of being victorious the state where a man is living perpetually in the realm of victory is called triumph the condition of being victorious number two triumph means 
significant success or noteworthy achievement significant success or noteworthy achievement meaning that you do something that is striking not something silent striking significant success noteworthy achievement number three triumph is the celebration this is another dimension to definition now it's not just achieving things but the celebration or the public display of manifested success the celebration of it not just the achievement of it but the celebration of it is the joy and the celebration that is derived from a major achievement we call that trial the context of this when when you study when you study bible history every time the nation of israel fought with another nation listen number one you did not win that war if the king were still alive you cannot say you've won the war if the king is still alive or not yet captured that's what i mean so the apex of your victory was that you caught the king and you either presented him alive and helpless or dead and utterly mocked and the greatest way of mocking the king was to remove his head hang it on a stake and march triumphantly are we together so women and children did not go for war only able-bodied men would go for war and aside from those who married and they were less than one year in their marriage they were instructed by god to stay and spend time with their wives so that in case they died later on they had seeds after them are you getting the idea now so the women and the children would usually wait there would be watchmen at the gates are we together when the nation of israel or any nation for that matter defeated their enemies they would drag the king or hang his head and then they would have chariots with the spoils of that nation the spoils meant that all the treasures that were hidden are we together now the trumpeters would begin to blow a particular kind of sound every time the watchmen had that sound they would echo that sound to israel victory is coming god's people have defeated the enemy so they will now the you know how they welcome a president the women and children would stand sometimes they would throw flowers as the army triumphantly marched with the head of the wicked king who made noise for many years are we together now so that procession is called triumph are we together now triumph so they march gallantly and the king leading them demonstrating the might and the honor the reason why they did it publicly was that news should get to neighboring nations as a warning that in case you are planning to fight give up on time are we together so the bible says the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy it can reproduce itself so when you triumph over hell prosperity starts shaking because it's the same government are we together your procession of saying i am healthy lets the spirit of poverty know that something is wrong i'm coming for you this year i prophesy to you in the name of jesus you will talk less and do more let me start by prophesying all this too much noise making and little result this year you will talk less and there will be mighty 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 results hallelujah you know when you watch people want to lift weight or fight wrestling they usually start with a lot of noise the other person will say look i've been waiting for us to meet and usually the stronger one just keeps quiet allowing the weaker one to rant and shout and all of that that noise is a strategy in warfare are we together now the noise is supposed to invoke fear that's why when terrorists want to bomb they will say we are coming to this city so they they create a a panic reaction are we together now that's why goliath was the only one shouting david didn't talk he only spoke once killed him and cut his head 
Look, let me tell you something, eh? If you believe what I'm sharing tonight, if you truly believe it, your life will surprise you this year. You know, I think it was Ejimi, I think it was you last year. I was towards the end of last year. I was telling him, I said, I've been sensing in my spirit that this year, many people are going to break cycles. You know, there is a way a man is going through seasons. You are laboring in the world, but there's no manifestation yet. But there is a way you step into a season. You know that I've left this realm forever in every wise. I kept telling him that I've been perceiving, you know, I was just joking it, especially for our brothers. I was telling him, I said, I said, my people will be blessed this year. I was telling him last year, I said, no, this year people are going to push through things by the spirit. So for me, when the word came, I, I jumped and I celebrated it first for myself and prayed it for the house triumphant processions triumphant processions triumphant processions are we together when jesus called lazarus he didn't come out in secret he came out before everybody that was a triumphant procession pastor alpha said something very powerful there is no triumph when there is no challenge standing before you are we together now the idea of triumph already gives you the attitude of a warrior are you getting what i'm saying now which should already be descriptive of the character and the nature of the year that the year will demand certain levels of warfare certain levels of contentions forces of darkness you once were afraid of standing to confront by an unveiling of strategies you now will be equipped to go and fight them when saul gave david his armory david said no no i'm not used to fighting with this god did not train me with this weapon i have my weapons and the bible says the weapons of our warfare it says they are not man-made they are not fleshly they are not carnal but mighty through god he says for the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ then it says bringing every thought to the obedience of christ say amen so this year you will command victory after victory after victory after victory in the name of jesus christ what is the basis of our confidence you don't make boastful statements like this in the presence of situations and circumstances i hope you know that the giants that stand before people are real understand this obstacles are real challenges are real the economic turmoil that is lashing on people is real are we together poverty is real terrorism is real death is real you see all these things plaguing the nations of the earth so what would give a people such confidence to come out and boldly speak before the world at the beginning of a year that has been predicted using all kinds of indices that is not a good year then you dare say it is your year of triumph first john 5 verse 4 let's look at two or three scriptures very quickly what is the basis of our confidence why do we make all these boasts when we have not even gone into the year physically first john 5 verse 4 media please help us he said for whatsoever is born of god whatsoever is what born of god whatsoever is born of god not whosoever whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith whatsoever 
so if i am born of god i qualify to make that boast that even in the midst of turmoil especially economic turmoil i can dare to say that i will thrive i will prosper and i will triumph whatsoever is born of god this is the first basis upon which we can make such an audacious claim everyone shout it say i am born of god i, born of god. I know it sounds simple but i like you to shout it i am born of god, born of god. and so i overcome To be born of God is a very serious thing. I know that religious people have made it look like um, I sat down here a few minutes before coming up and I watched the way Ejimi was taking care of his daughter. The daughter would want to sit on his lap. The daughter would want to run around and he would draw her. When he was coming to celebrate January, she's October, but she was part of those who caught that kick because she was born of the celebrant are you together now and so while he's going for as long as she kept identifying herself as his daughter if another baby ran and came around ushers would hold her and say no no go back but because she was his daughter she had that access the birthday has nothing to do with her but she stood in front so the bible says whosoever is born of god must join him in everything whosoever is born of God overcome the world listen this is how to defeat darkness this world is a legal realm dominion is not is not jacking yourself you must stand upon keys demons listen they are obedient nobody breaks ranks the realm of the spirit is a legal system you overcome by presenting truths you don't overcome by wishing when satan came to jesus he said it is written and satan said i can't deny it both god and demons there is a rule of engagement the same way you fight war and even among terrorists they know that they are here to kill men when they see women and children they leave them they respect the rule of engagement there is a rule of engagement in the realm of the spirit whatsoever is born of god if my body is born of god it overcomes sickness if my finances are born of god it must overcome recession are we together now if i am born of god i must be able to overcome every charm every enchantment i can't stop them from gathering i don't even know whether or not they are gathering but one thing i know is the bible already gave me expo that the whole world lies in wickedness so, so it is not unthinkable to imagine somebody is planning only god knows how many demons are planning plane crashes for me this year car accident maybe even after this service i can join them in the discussion because it makes no difference to me i am born of god believe me i'm not making a boastful statement i don't need to say, avoid that talk uh -uh. I'm not, I'm not running away maybe because I don't want to hear bad news. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying it, it makes no difference. It's like a child saying I will beat you. And then he's oh yeah beat me. That's what I can do with the devil. The realm of the spirit has no confusion whatsoever. It's a legal system. You don't win by mistake and you don't lose by mistake. Everything is done through laws intentionally. Is God helping us tonight? So the first basis of our confidence is that we are born of God. Everyone say, I'm born of God. What is the basis of our confidence? John chapter 1 verse 5. We still have a problem there. John chapter 1 verse 5. Sorry about the... Um, I'm sure that may also affect those outside. If so, please, we're sorry. I'm sure they will be back. Asap. John 1 verse 5. John chapter 1 verse 5 if you have it in your Bible please I'd like you to join me and read it John 1 verse 5 popular scripture ready read and the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not 
my bible says overcame it not and the light this is the second basis listen listen please look up the second basis the platform upon which we can dare say it's a year of triumph is that we have been given an understanding from the word of god that darkness only remains darkness for as long as there is no light are we together now when you off this light this entire auditorium becomes dark but the moment the light comes on the darkness leaves so the departure of darkness is at the appearance of genuine light genuine light are we together now the second basis of our confidence is that all the works of satan are considered darkness and god and all he communicates is called light and the bible says the light shines the light shines the light shines so that god through his light is empowering us this year so that we can be able to walk through darkness so for you it does not matter whether it will light or dark because you are light yourself and you are carrying light so in case it were darkness as soon as you step in the rules change for you they have to change for you if i enter a dark room and i do not have light anything can happen i can match on a bottle i can injure myself confusion is that true but now somebody else who entered that dark room with his own light the room did not give him light but he forced the room to be illuminated through his light and he can organize himself are we together now so the bible says the light shines in darkness listen it is costly to live in today's world in ignorance costly to live in today's world in ignorance any kind of ignorance will not work well for us this year so the light shines in darkness that is the basis of our victory what should i expect this year this year of triumph what should i expect this year number one Every, I'm being careful to say it, everyone who does not trust in the name of the Lord or everyone who does not live by the principles of the kingdom, this will be a terrible year for them. This is the truth. I'm trying to be as nice as I can sound, but this is, this is the mildest way of communicating it. Anyone who is not born of God, comma, and anyone who, though born of God, is not equipped with light, will not have a very funny year. That's the truth. Brothers and sisters, I will not lie to you. If you are waiting for government, now I love the government, we are responsible people as a ministry, the government of nations and policies to change so that you will smile it means you will cry from january to december are we together now we are tapping into the realities of another system to thrive and live are you hearing what i'm saying now i like the way living faith puts it they say my case is different very powerful statement not our case my case the rules are different for me are we together we were we were coming in from Uyo yesterday we had a beautiful time by the way i'm sure there are people following us Uyo is a lovely place you want to see how heaven looks like you can go to Uyo. yeah it truly is a beautiful place hallelujah we were rushing to come and catch the flight and everything was over they were about to lift that i mean we were going to miss the flight but because the person who invited us had influence with the airport authorities they caused the entire plane to be grounded until we came you see that 
I'm just giving you an example of how a man's case can be different. The rules you read, the rules and regulation you read on your manual is for the general public. The same way, listen, on Saturday there is no banking. On Sunday there is no banking. But the doors of banks open every day. It depends on who is talking. There are men who if they want to withdraw now, they open the bank and the manager comes. He said, I hope I'm not inconveniencing him. He's inconveniencing me. Everyone shout, my case is different. Shout it again, my case is different. Listen, this is the year, every time you hear them say it can't be done, just know they are speaking to the general public. The Bible says you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. You, you have to believe this. Don't just laugh. Listen, it's a mentality I have worked with for years. I never generalize my life. There is nothing general about me. It's, it's not some boastful statement. It's the truth. I expect things to be different when I come. It's my approach. So I'm very interested in what people say cannot be done. Because I like to see how that thing will treat me. Oh, hallelujah. I pray that you have a victor's mindset this year. All this generalizing ourselves. Oh, that's how it happens. No, there are always exemptions. There, there, have, there is no rule that has been applicable to everybody. There are always exemptions. Are we together? Men engage secrets from Genesis to Revelation and change keys, change rules. Kings who vowed that they could not see people saw certain women. They did things. Listen, listen, listen. Brothers and sisters, everybody's explanation is his experience. So people write books based on their experience. They teach based on their experience. They say in 40 years, it has never happened that a young man within this and that age range becomes successful based on this GDP and A and B and C. If you get a job today receiving 40,000 by our estimate in 10 years, you will now be able to build a house. When you hear those talk, honor them, but turn and say no way. Ah, no, 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 it's not me. Hallelujah. Yeah. Believe me, I live my life as if there is no such thing as recession. I believe it by my solidarity to a nation at a corporate level. But I absolutely do not believe it. It's not, it doesn't make sense. Koinonia is rising this year as if, as if it's charm I all gave you to put in your pocket. That's how we rise. No, 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 no. That's what I saw. God has made me a pastor over the ministry. So I know what I saw. I will sympathize with any other person who has seen differently. But the Bible says Joshua and Caleb were of another spirit. Twelve spies. Twelve spies went to spy a land. Perspective. Ten of them saw the giants. Six fingers, six toes. They will shake themselves as if they are going to squeeze one another. And the, the ten were seeing themselves in, in the midst of those hands being squeezed. Whereas Joshua and Caleb said, my God, look at abundance in this land. They ran back and said, the ten said, we were like grasshoppers. Joshua and Caleb said, don't say we, say I saw them. He said, let us go up at once for we are well able. When Joshua was distributing and allocating land in the book of Joshua, Caleb came to him and said, when I was 40 years, Moses said, because of my courage, you will give me this land. Now give me this mountain. Although I am 40, about 45 years older, my strength is still there. I can take on those giants. Come on now. Everybody was looking at the end of the reign of Israel. Another man was looking at an opportunity for a tax-free life and a free wife. Are we together? David came and said, look, 
I can't go through all this hustle. What to be done for the person who kills Goliath? They say his family will be exempted from tax. He will marry the king's daughter. That's why when he was dancing before God and his wife turned, he said, I'm dancing before God who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph causes us always to triumph what do we expect this year a year of great victory and supernatural achievement write it down a year of great victory great victory and supernatural achievement don't go around insulting people but don't listen to all this nonsense you hear around believe me when i tell you this it's a year of great victory and supernatural achievements what do we expect this year uncommon results uncommon results in every area spiritually financially career-wise uncommon results what do we expect this year total dominion and mastery over the forces of darkness and the issues of life what do we expect this year i repeat total dominion and mastery over the forces of darkness and the issues of life there are real issues in life there are real forces but that we sustain an ability to command total dominion and mastery I wrote something down here that I want to read. This was even during my retreat. I said our goal as a ministry, don't write, just listen. Our goal as a ministry for 2017 is to lead God's people and as many others into greater levels of intimacy with God, comma, revival, transformation, signs and wonders, prosperity, kingdom influence, and total dominion God's people will experience the dominion power of light over darkness that's what I wrote there the dominion power you see how cheap darkness is when you hold light when you do not hold light you don't make boast when you are driving and your headlamp offs you drive like a learner or park the car but as soon as you can see a mechanic who will buy a hundred or two hundred and fifty naira bulb and just put it just because a car that you bought four million or five million now has a headlamp of less than two thousand spoiled and that entire car becomes inefficient you bought a car over five million and the head the the, the bulb right that gives light that is less than 10,000 naira because that, that headlight spoils you can't drive again you park your beautiful car and you can do nothing about it but just a young mechanic who comes buys that bulb from a shop your car can buy the shop but you carry the light and just fix it back and you can speed in the night as if it's the afternoon someone will run this year Listen, I got a powerful revelation about speed during my retreat and the Lord told me if you see somebody driving on a speed lane slow he's either a learner or the car is not working well is that true so the concept of delay or slow movement is totally a function of darkness let me tell you something every driver knows when the road is clear there is no car and there is light what do you do there's no time for moving around and nonsense are wasting time you you hurry up that's how many of us the road will be clear light will clear off every devil standing that way hallelujah some of us it's not even you will even need to change the vehicle completely because what you have been moving with you, you can't sit inside a wheelbarrow and you want to arrive Lagos that's what the economy of the world is trying to give you 
their theories will make you successful when you are 70 years old listen you cannot live in today's world with the suggestions men are giving and ever rise let me speak just economically speaking do you know in nigeria every family has at least two or three people now who are jobless they have been retrenched they've been downsized and they are waiting out of eight people one person got a job of forty thousand, and everybody saying praise the lord what does that mean to that salary as soon as you tight it finishes immediately so how do you build a house how do you buy a car how do you get married how do you sow into the work of god you see what satan wants to rob you so that you are 50 years and you are still staying in your parents house you are coming to koinonia but you are coming from their house at 50 and they look at you and say what is this but my case is different it truly is different hallelujah how will this be achieved we are going to pray seeing then that God has released the word his word is his bond his word is his commitment throughout this year I wrote something down you may just want to listen the primary tool that will be used to achieve this is the word of God but more specifically a thorough revelation of the secrets and the mysteries of the kingdom that are responsible for the desired results the primary tool that will be used to achieve this is the word of God comma but more specifically a thorough revelation of the secrets and mysteries of the kingdom that are responsible for the desired results so there is your desire versus the mystery that is responsible for actualizing it are we together please come help me with this bottle everyone please look at this my desire is to drink water i give one of these little ones this bottle they may be thirsty but they do not know how to open it this is the year you must match your desire with the corresponding mystery that was designed to open it up to you we have desires we know what we want but what it takes to deliver the result is where the problem is so the primary tool this year I tell you this year will be an unveiling of divine strategies the mysteries that are responsible for commanding results now I want to open this and I do not know and then somebody gives me an orientation you hold this and turn it anti-clockwise do you know I can hold this and turn it clockwise and it's not opening because that's not the law does the water hate me please answer me does the bottle know me it's a system whoever can turn it will drink the water so I use my frustration to say anytime you see this bottle run away it can be opened that's what they are preaching to you all around because people tried it and it did not work and then God tells you no take that same bottle and he tells you turn it and you turn it very easily very easily and it's open you are ready to take the water thanks be to God who through his mystery causes us always to triumph so everywhere they say it can be done God sends you there so the next time thank you the next time you see yourself standing in the midst of fire don't cry don't say it can't be done ask how can it be done how 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 not it can't be done how can it be done are we together God speaks to you and says by December you own your own house and you sit down and calculate and say God I'm earning 50,000 how much is is that spent you see if you think like that not even this year your lifetime you will not build are we together you have to stretch your faith and believe god the word of god now let me tell you something 
what is God's part in this prophecy write it down this is the apex of this exhortation what is God's commitment Isaiah chapter 55 what is God's commitment in this prophecy if I'm doing business with you I have to know what my commitment is and what your commitment is right so this is what God says in Isaiah 55 verse 11 listen so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it says it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing I sent it so God is telling you his own part that as far as I am concerned my integrity over this prophetic word that is your year of triumph is guaranteed my word will not return back I will not bring you at the beginning of the year and mock you God is too big to mock you he's too big to play with you play games with your mind no so shall my word be one more scripture because from the mouth of two or three witnesses a matter is established are we together Jeremiah 1 verse 12 Jeremiah 1 verse 12 Amplified says for I am alert and active watching over my word to perform it so who is the performer who is the performer write it down that's his part the part of God is the performer the one who forces that word to come to pass he said it he said it to us as a family of faith that it is our year of triumph and so we have believed him his own part is to perform it make good his bond are we together now so what is your own part because usually this is where the equation fails i want you to pay attention take what i'm about to tell you as prophetic instructions eight instructions god gave me during our retreat eight instructions and he said if you keep this and tell my people to keep this it will truly be a year of triumph so please take very seriously these eight instructions bishop oyedeko said um those who drive are taught by all kinds of people you call them coaches and drivers and, and all of that but those who fly planes those who train those who fly planes they call them instructors you fly a plane based on instructions there's no emotions to it it's exact you can time the landing of a plane with the fraction of a second are we together now I can't guarantee that if I ask you to drive from here to your house you may arrive in 10 minutes but when you are in the air I can time that you are landing 707 and 707 on the dot the tire is touching the ground because of instructions instructions give you accuracy 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 instructions do, doesn't leave discretion do this and this will happen don't do this and you will not suit this instruction number one what is my part what is my part in partnership with God to make this year a year of triumph second Chronicles 2020 that's instruction number one believe in the Lord and believe in his prophets write it down that's the first instruction believe in the Lord and believe in his prophets those who disregard prophetic instructions will hear it bad this year arrogant people who think when the word of God comes from a man of God it's a word they join all these these junk journalists that write nonsense about every man of God to mean when a man of God speaks he's just ranting no God has always used the instrumentality of vessels to speak his purposes to people believe in the Lord your God 
what does it do to you establishment believe in his prophets what does it do to you prosperity so the first instruction from God if we are to experience a year of triumph is that we must believe in the Lord by the way you are, if you are not born again here by the time I make the altar call please I want you to run because that's where it starts from believe in the Lord your God so shall ye be established then he said believe his prophets to believe his prophets doesn't mean to agree with them take them as true take what they are speaking as the word from God for as long as that word bears witness with your spirit the Holy Ghost confirming it then you take it and act upon it accordingly you are going to be receiving instructions here you are going to be receiving principles here be childlike be childlike and receive it and you will be surprised the kingdom is for children he said let the little children come to me right and do not forbid them for for such is the kingdom of heaven except you become like one of these little ones the bible says you cannot enter you can't experience the kingdom unnecessary big manism and pride is what will cause people to weep and languish believe in the lord your god so shall ye be established believe in his prophets so shall he prosper so this is not the year to come for koinonia now that does not mean you should throw your brains away please let's balance it are you getting what i'm saying believing a man of god does not mean the person says remove one shoe put it on your head and walk around uh -uh. remember the holy ghost is in you are we together now the holy ghost is in you bearing witness with everything that is being spoken so i say to believe a man of god with respect to his walking with god paul said follow me as i follow after christ meaning if i am not following christ don't follow me are you getting the idea now because many people have been indoctrinated wrongly with this issue of believing prophets they believe what you believe what they taught you about money and you are broke because what they said was a lie so don't just believe nonsense and say this is what i've said uh, believe provided the man has a track record of working with god that's what qualifies him to be able to speak with you so that somebody does not carry i'm saying it for the sake of the thousands online so that one pastor does not carry this and go and harass his members and say even apostle joshua selman said this now all of you go and bring 10 10 000 naira and give me the bible says believe me that's not what i'm saying that's manipulation and witchcraft hallelujah you follow a man of god as he follows after christ so you don't just follow him blindly you check in front of him to see who he's following if he's following another strange spirit you turn around are we together instruction number two this 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 is the my notebook for the retreat I, I came with it directly so that i'll read it because it came with fire from the throne and it's good to read it as it came number two the second instruction the second key your own role is that you must cultivate a passion a passion to thoroughly understand the principles of the kingdom you must cultivate a passion for understanding an appetite for understanding fight your areas of ignorance like a cancer this year no assumptions no assumptions every gray area in your life deal with it ruthlessly i'm not getting this thing for five years i've been acting like i know it i sit down at the feet of the master and i learn how this thing works cultivate a passion for understanding the bible says they are life to those who find them to find them means you have to search for them and the bible tells us how proverbs 18 verse 1 it says through desire a man having separated himself that talks of focus 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 one leg here trying to read one book you read one page and then you come back after five months the year will end like it did last year and every other year you must give it your attention do you know the reason why many people never learn we are too distracted 
now please don't misunderstand me but i have to say this you have to be careful with the internet this year say amen. amen number two you have to be careful with your phone this year your phone may be the enemy that will stop you from triumphing you have to be careful some of these things that distract us be careful with unnecessary hilarious movies you are watching nigerian film you have 10 cds say i must finish it you set a goal to finish those films and then you are not doing anything with your life you must passionately pursue understanding it takes time it takes time you will need to study you will need to buy books you will need to listen to teachings again and again don't just say i listen to it again mm -mm. again and again there are some of my own teachings i've listened to one tape over 500 times believe me when i tell you this one just one koinonia teaching over 500 times god is my witness i'm not exaggerating there are other messages i've listened to one tape i will tell you almost more than a thousand times i'm not exaggerating You have to be passionate except you want to behave like a herbalist this year but if you want a predictable result be ready to spend time notice i didn't say in knowledge most of us are already aware you need understanding to know how to engage that principle is god helping us instruction number three let's hurry up what is your part number three you must be willing to be obedient and consistent write it down the third key god gave me for myself and for us two scriptures please deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and 2 and then james 1 25 deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and 2 and then James 1 25 the willingness to obey and to obey consistently you don't tithe in January and then the next time you come in October you don't get results that way you don't pray today and then sometime in May you just say let me go for prayer band meeting that's when you remember that you have not been praying you, there must be consistency Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 and 2 and it shall come to pass if thou shalt do what hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord to observe and to do all his commandments which I commanded this day listen when you observe and do them then the following will happen that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. Verse 2. And all these blessings. So they are there. But they will not come to you automatically. Shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord. Everybody say obedience. Say consistency. Yeah. You don't do devotion today. And then after two weeks. You now kneel down and repent and just read two chapters and kneel down and repent again match you 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 change all, all these games this is the year you have to be serious please prophesy to yourself say i'll be serious even with the house of god there are people who are not serious you come for koinonia now and then you sit down later you say you are busy what are you busy doing you are busy suffering because nothing is working i must be consistent do you know no matter how little your efforts are if you are consistent you will get more results than somebody who comes up with an have you seen people who come up with elephant projects they just come out of one three-day fasting and say today i will read five books per week ten chapters per day i will pray three hours and while they are saying it someone is watching in two weeks you will say bros sorry oh i i remember you making that statement don't come up with elephant projects elephant projects is why people are not consistent like now most of you had retreat from december to now the fire is still hot so you are making statements that don't make sense god is saying calm down i said god just allow me or leave me run the way i want to run and you won't even reach february this 
year i must pay the school fees of 10 students god is saying be careful just start with god leave me it's my heart now the third person is already asking you and you are saying please don't talk to me listen i want to show you why people are not consistent they are not consistent because they are, they are not they don't set goals that are reasonable I'm going to be saving 100, 100,000 per month. Mm -mm. Apostle has said we should save. How much is your salary? Your salary is 30,000. How are you going to save 100,000? Are you a thief? You see, it's not realistic. I'm not saying don't plan. But you, you have to take sensible steps. It's like a Jimmy's child saying, I must drive. Now, that's an ambitious goal, but it's not realistic. So please go back and edit your plans to be reasonable and invite the Holy Spirit to help you. This year, I must be a millionaire in dollars. Respect money and plan well. Don't be a fool and do stupid things. You know, I, I'm, I'm saying this as a warning. I'm speaking to so many people. You have to be wise. I'm showing you why, number one, we are not obedient. Because you'll be frustrated. You will even tight again. Take your growth in sensible, logical steps. Lord, I will be. I can dedicate one hour praying and I'll give my heart to it. The day God grants me grace, I will use that whole day to stretch. Don't say me and eight hours. Lord, if I don't pray eight hours, kill me. That's what you said during your retreat. You would have been dead from 2nd of January. Because the only time you prayed eight hours was your retreat. You have not even prayed one hour since that time. Don't make foolish statements emotionally. Are you getting my point now? Be careful. Lord, if I miss coin only on one day this year, break my leg. Dude, we say all kinds of things that don't make sense. Of course, God is merciful, so he just looks at us like a child talking to the father. But you have to be wise. That's why people cannot obey. They yoke themselves with instructions that are too hard to obey at the moment. I must give apostle a seed every every Friday, a Jimmy a seed every Friday, my hatred a seed every Friday. Lord, that's my covenant with you. Be careful. God didn't ask you. You're, you are you will get there one day, but your salary is five thousand. How do you do that? Praise the Lord. Are we together? So obedience and consistency. James chapter 1 verse 25. Please quickly. James 1 25. Let's hurry up. James 1 25. Look up please while I read. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty. The Bible says. And continueth. Continueth. Not just that he looked at it once. He continueth therein. He be not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word. What is his reward? This man shall be blessed in his deed. Consistency will produce results. Consistency will produce results. Don't commit yourself to anything you know you cannot continue. Ask questions. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. number instruction number four you must maintain a robust prayer life write it down a robust prayer life a healthy fiery prayer life the bible says and the fire upon the altar it shall burn day and night listen this is a year when there are forces of darkness the arsenals of hell are out to eat and spew out anybody it can find. There's no room for carelessness. Are we together now? Why do we need to pray to maintain our relationship and our contact with God? Why do we need to pray to maintain our discernment? Why do we need to pray to command things to be? Why do we need to pray to challenge the forces that be to give way? To give way? you must pray there are there are wicked spirits you can only imagine how many devils of darkness plan to destabilize koinonia destabilize our lives to make sure that people don't come to misrepresent us you've got to pray 
listen let me tell you something if you're a pastor here let me teach you a very big secret I thank God for Koinonia. Koinonia has a robust prayer department. Many of you are part of it. And I thank God for the leaders, great guys, and so many people. This is a ministry of prayer. There are prayer giants here. But nobody's prayer for me can substitute for my personal prayer life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many lazy pastors. I'm challenging us. There are many lazy church members. I know they will pray for me. Where are you going? Koinonia prayer band. Oh, please pray for us. So, you see, that attitude this year will not go well. Because there are instructions you must hear by yourself. Nobody can hear it for you. There are many lazy men of God who don't pray. They say, we have prayer warriors praying for me all around. Some of you even sow seeds to the men praying. I say please this is just a small seed to buy uh, orange juice while you pray it will not substitute your spiritual laziness history is full of men who did not pray and the fatal disaster that happened to them let me tell you anything that affects your prayer life has truly destroyed you not will destroy you if at this point you are listening to me your prayer altar is dead you don't need a word of knowledge you are under attack just know it not from god from hell you i don't care what the excuse is you don't you don't forget to eat you don't forget to bath you don't forget to dress you don't for there's nobody working for the government who says i forgot that i'm supposed to go to work today because every time you are tired you remember salary are we together now this prayerlessness and spiritual laziness and say i'm not you see, i'm not into all this i'm not the ministry type me I'm, I'm not the ministry type you must be the ministry type this year because victory is for ministry people if you are not in ministry this year forget about victory. please take what i'm saying seriously say i receive grace say it inside and outside i receive grace to be on fire in the place of prayer you have to create times listen i know we are all busy don't get me wrong i'm a very busy person most there are many people here who are working some are students there are people all around if you are waiting until it's comfortable you will never be consistent you have to you understand your life come up with a program i'm a night person i'm like a dog in the night because my daytime is busy people will not even allow me to concentrate i can't tell you i'll pray effectively in the day so the night time when unbelief has reduced in the earth people are sleeping all the people who cause unbelief to fly like magnetic waves are sleeping that's when we settle things we 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 make things be that's my that's good for me there are others the nature of your job if you pray like that you will be sick so you won't say apostle is doing it and you do it like that there are others what you just need is to just make sufficient contact for the day and then one day that you have a leave maybe in a week you can use that day and just settle and catch up for the week are we together if you don't create a system you will not pray most of us here you can spare some time in the night except you are lazy you were praying in the night when you entered relationship that prayer time now became loan time be careful god is watching you have to you have to balance that thing and tell the brother and say brother i love you but you see from this to this is a time for prayer we can readjust it but you can't just say uh -uh, yeah, yeah, well, even god knows that we're in love be careful demons don't know you are in love and that's where the issue is because these are the little things please don't just laugh listen carefully most of us our night times are for recreation which is okay those of us in relationships you are catching up time you know discussing which is wonderful i encourage it but but i encourage it only if your prayer life will not suffer if you are in love at the expense of your prayer life you are dying say amen, amen. number number five what is the third instruction from God to us? 
totally the fifth instruction i'm sorry totally reject fear and negative reports let me dwell for a few minutes here this one came strong in my spirit the fifth instruction to see the outstretched arm of god this year you must totally reject fear slash negative reports media three scriptures please give it to us quickly isaiah 8 verse 12 of course you know already that fear is a spirit don't turn there just write it second timothy 1 verse 7 says for god has not given us the spirit of fear second timothy 1 verse 7 for god has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of love power and what fear is a spirit you must challenge it do you know i'm not against watching cnn bbc and all the stations and reading the newspapers and all of that but you have to be careful are we together now any report that violates your convictions you can read it just for entertainment but do not absorb it and add it to your convictions and start acting statistics have been released already that predicts a lot of things the economic health of nations predicts that this and that is happening there's there are already predictions that there's going to be almost a 10 percent job uh what they call it downsizing thank you by the time you hear that one now you are you are afraid because they just employed you <laughs> he says say ye not a confederacy to all of them whom these people shall say a confederacy neither fear their fear that means don't say what they are saying they are saying recession don't join them to say recession don't fight them oh. let me give you a balance don't go to the office and when they say there's recession you stand up and say look in this board meeting there is no recession they will fire you that's not what i mean what i'm saying you don't accept that as a no it's not a prophetic word for you say i reject it there's no recession in my life say it again i reject it there's no recession in my life are we together the bible says neither fear their fears listen there are only about four or five fears that plague people number one the greatest is the fear of death number two is the fear of failure are we together now the fear of death the fear of failure really what else number three the fear of disappointment disappointment purposes disappointed and all kinds of things these are some of the fears that we have around our fears are finite you can look at them and know that i can conquer them the fear of death how am i sure now that you you watch on B, on bbc and, and cnn people are in a bus a luxurious bus traveling someone sits down there you hear about the foolish boy that testimony that somebody gave where someone wanted to snuff uh, a gun grenade look this year you must behave well praise god the things i used to snuff you kill yourself automatically you know that brother needs deliverance i hope you know nobody will go and bust grenade and then lose your hand is that a mistake that was calculated by hell a day before they concluded tomorrow by this time this guy has lost i'm sure it's even intercession that didn't blow the guy up maybe somebody prayed for him some problems are self-inflicted you smoke snuff and you are not in your mind and they arrest you they jail you no year of trial are we together now no year of triumph is not caused by demons we have our wheels are you hearing what i'm saying oh they are snuffing and you are there you did snuff but you are still going to prison some of us are so careless you know that there are thieves around you your best friend is a thief your your other friend is a smoker the other person 
is is goes to a herbalist the other person is is a lazy man look at and you are the, you are serious you can't have a year of triumph brothers and sisters let's not play games you have to be serious edit your association there are people you have to wave goodbye this year they say why say because it's my year of triumph totally reject fear hebrews chapter 2 verse 5 verse 15 just write it these are scriptures since it's not projected hebrews 2 verse 15 and deliver them who through fear have all their lifetime been subject to bondage there is a correlation between fear and bondage every time you are afraid you are kept in bondage if you are afraid of death you will not travel to go and see your loved ones you are thinking what if i die have you not heard of people who were about to eat dinner in their house as they were just they just finished serving the meal a tractor a, a a trailer just entered and killed all of them your confidence is not in refusing to get on the road your confidence is in the name of the lord i shall not die but live and declare the bible says right i said before you life and death blessing and cursing choose life i've chosen life that's why i don't smoke it's not just i chose life i chose i've chosen life that's why i don't drink hello i must say it you drink you have chosen death you smoke snuff and i don't care what it is e-cigarette um, um, um real one you are dying and another angle let me come in with another dimension gluttony is also on your way to death let me balance it are we together excessive food does something to your spirit man i'm not saying starve yourself don't get me wrong excessive food there is no champion i know who is a master at eating go and search history no champion i know you are temperate in all things balance yourself don't eat things that 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 cause trouble in your body Many people have eaten their ways to their, their, to their grave. They call it prosperity. You buy two, uh, 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 what they call it, two whole chickens, only you. Add malt, add viju, add yogurt, add chips. And you eat it and say, look, when I was poor, I suffered. Now that I'm rich, you are not enjoying. Choose life. Prophesy to yourself, say, I choose life. I'm not saying no eat. They serve you a chicken, eat well, but be temperate. Be temperate. And do you know, Ejimi, the Lord shared with me a revelation during my retreat. Do you know why many people get sick from food? Because we are disobeying what the Bible says. He who does not walk is an advice. It's an advice it's not a warning i'm advising you if you don't plan to walk don't eat because eating without walking will do something to your health oh come on it's not we just think god is warning us it's an advice believe me brothers and sisters find out from people who don't walk and eat they don't stay healthy i'm not a doctor but ask the doctors among us here you are just eating because that life works based on the principle of give and take you are not giving anything and you are receiving if you don't walk don't eat the same way they say if you drink don't drive if you don't walk don't eat try this and see how healthy you will be most people eat but don't walk mentally they are not working spiritually they are not working physically they are not working you eat by 10 you wake up by 12 you know what you are doing you are dying great leaders are healthy people very healthy people because leadership makes you very diligent great leaders are healthy people alive and agile you see someone in his 30s mid 40s or 50s and you see him breaking down he wants to call you he's raising his hand as if he's sick food brought that kind of thing you have been eating and you have not been working do you know i, I studied this thing i'm telling you 
I took out time to study it. A professional doctor, a dietitian was talking about all of these things. People walk and don't eat. I mean, they, 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 they walk, they eat, and they don't walk. Say, I walk. And that revelation came from the fact that Jesus has done everything. So we should not do everything. That is true. But you must understand in what context. It doesn't mean you lazy around and move around. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Jesus did not die to produce lazy people. Jesus himself said, I must walk the works of him that sent me. You will never become great in life being lazy. I'm talking about fear. But I'm saying these are some of the things that sabotage our lives and keep us in fear. You are now afraid of your health. Oh, what if they say I am this? Do you know, if you just obey the Bible, you don't need to fear death. Do you know why God created fasting? Even medically speaking, medically speaking, people who fast periodically are healthy. Your body needs to take a break from all these things you are just junking in there. You buy a crate of minerals and finish it in three days. No, you fast. If you have no spiritual reason to fast, I tell you, I don't mean fast like don't eat. You can just take a day and say I'm just on food. Just to, just to make my body feel healthy. We have been trained to feel when you eat so much you are rich. No. No. No one will die here this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. And none of you will kill yourselves this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's hurry up. We're almost there. Instruction number six. Hmm. The sixth instruction to experience a year of triumph is be patient but persistent. Write it down. The year of triumph is for those who will be patient. Impatient people will hear it this year. You must be patient. Hebrews 6.15 Galatians 6.9 Please, quickly. Be patient. It says, everyone read. Want to read. And so, talking of Abraham, after he had patiently endured, did what? After he had patiently endured. I know God has spoken that it's a year of triumph. But you don't wait and between this week and next week. You just say I don't have a testimony. That's it. Mm -mm, be patient. Over your finances. Be patient. Give God time to work things out for you. Give favor time to come to fruition in your life. Impatience will destroy many people. So after he had patiently endured. He obtained the promise. Galatians 6 verse 9. He says, And let us not be weary. Don't gas out. Let us not be weary in well-doing. Why? For in due season we shall reap. What's the condition? If we faint not. So you must be persistent. Ask and keep asking. Seek and keep seeking. Knock and keep knocking. And the door will open up to you. I pray for you for grace to continue. Some of these things I'm sharing may not make sense now. But brothers and sisters, by the time you are in March and nothing has happened in your finances and you return back home and you find out there may not be food to eat, then you go back to these things and you will see that I told you patience and persistence. It doesn't mean the word of God is not working. Are we together? By the time all of a sudden you find out that ah, ah, you're beginning to have abdominal pain and they now give you a report you don't like. I say, ah, ah, but I thought God said it's my year of trial. Patience. By the time you come for January miracle service and then nothing happens right away. Patience. Most people don't give God a chance to manifest himself in their lives. We give up on God too easily. The moment you say, oh God, this is what I'm trusting. 
especially when you have dreams and you have experiences that show you that God is going to help you and then physically you are not seeing it that way God told you that you will get a job by December that's what you saw that's what you had and now it's January okay Lord I give you the glory I thought it was December I don't know whether I got it right or whatever that's not important I just know you will give me a job you have spoken I hold on to your word very simple instead of saying God is it that I'm, I'm hearing voices or you are the ones all those things are signs of unbelief Lord I believe you but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able everybody say I still believe God prophesy to yourself I still believe God yeah the circumstances around you may not look like it but I still believe God two more and then we are done the seventh key you must have clear goals and expectations write it down the seventh key to experience a year of triumph you must have clear goals and expectations Psalm 37 verse 4 and then Proverbs 23 18 Psalms 37 verse 4 you must have clear goals and expectations I'm taking our time to be this simple tonight because I want everyone to receive it so that we can pray this word I really desire from my heart and God knows I prayed for you during my retreat and I told God I said God please let your people get strange testimonies let this word work in their lives and God told me well the ball is in everyone's court God is more than faithful but if we engage with him then you can be sure that the sky is only a starting point it says delight thyself also in the Lord and he shall give you what so when you do not have desires expressed as goals God is not authorized to bless you set clear goals are we together now financial goals reasonable financial goals set clear goals career goals okay I'm trusting God to get a job this year I'm trusting God to start a business this year my laundry should start this is the budget I need 200,000 Lord I lift it before you you are more than able to make this happen I set a clear goal I should have by God's grace I plan to have a cash flow of 200,000 per month this year 100,000 per month this year that will cover the school fees of my children cover my rent for a year I set goals I set clear goals that by the grace of God every day I should be able to read a particular you know chapters of scripture I set clear goals when you don't set goals you will never achieve anything Proverbs 23 verse 18 Proverbs 23 verse 18 it says for surely there is an end and thine expectation shall not be cut off I have an expectation for the ministry I have an expectation for my life are we together you're a businessman have expectations you're a career person have expectation oh I'm due for promotion and I believe with all my heart that this year I will be promoted to become an operations manager Lord I involve you in this thank you my goal is that by the end of this year I should have finished my MSc I should have finished my PhD my goal this year is at least I should be able to write three or four papers of international repute this year my goal this year is that I'll be a serious student I'm on three point maybe 3.35 and my goal this year is to make five points first and second semester and to rise to a two one and then see how I can take it from there sensible goals my goal maritally speaking is to get married or to be a good wife my goal is to give birth don't just give birth set it as a goal so that you can gather the resources to manage the Bible says no man intending to build a house you want to marry by June and you are wasting money in January you will not marry you set it as a goal goals give us focus are you getting what I'm saying now that way you don't waste resources there are many wasters in the body of Christ wasting everything that God gives them you waste your brain you waste your resources no set goals 
my goal this year is to access the healing anointing god has called me into the healing ministry but i have not seen that level of healing that may be your goal and my goal this year is i want to focus on the healing ministry and trust god to access that grace so that i can become a blessing my goal this year is to sharpen the prophetic dimension god gave me i'm tired of talking to people and one out of every 20 is what comes to pass i need to sharpen my accuracy goals my goal this year i'm tired of being broke at least even if i don't become a millionaire this year let me understand the laws of wealth and abundance my goal this year in preparation for marriage is to study on motherhood study on wifehood i want to be an award-winning woman my goal this year is not to be a foolish man i've been a foolish man for many years but now i want to calm down and understand what it means to be responsible my goal this year is to move out of my parents house and get a house of my own i want to start with a self-contained i want to be responsible this year that's a goal are we together my goal this year is to stop gossiping and making trouble and design a good life for myself i'm tired of talking about people going to people's homes to disturb them and be a nuisance to them i'm ready to be serious my goal this year is to be a greater person of integrity and character i found out that i love god but maybe i'm not quite a person of integrity and character i want to work on it do you have goals you must set them are we together i challenge you to set goals please set goals they will guide you in what to do and they will help you know the things you should not be involved in oh my goal is to start ministry this year okay this is what i'm seeing this is how god is helping me my goal is to expand this year my goal is to write a book this year my goal is to do this and that my goal is to be a more effective worker in koinonia i'm tired of absenteeism i'm tired of carelessness i want to give god my best today when you set goals you authorize god i have goals my life is littered with goals at every given point in my life there's no carelessness i know what to do after this night i know what to do tomorrow my week is already prepared my month is already prepared the year is already prepared i'm not sitting down wishing of course you will adjust the goals eventually but you have you must have a skeletal description so nobody just comes and says wow i want to come and waste your time have goals and finally the last point psalm 23 verse 5 you must walk conscious of the anointing oh yes oh yes triumph you can't rule out the anointing psalm 23 verse 5 walk conscious of the anointing it's projected thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies it says thou anointest my head with oil and my cup overflows there is a relationship between the oil on your head and the cup on your hands there is a relationship between the results you get on your life and the unction and the grace that is upon you hallelujah this is not the year to ignore the anointing i know that as a ministry we honor the place of the anointing and the ministry of the holy spirit but in a greater way listen there are some of us who we think the anointing is just for falling down and coughing out things no sir the anointing is god's ability is his help in your life are we together now if you are trying to climb a staircase and then it's not working and i hold your hands i have assisted you the anointing is god's assistance in your life to multiply your results and in many cases to even produce it in the first way the anointing multiplies your result by a factor that you cannot even consider i expect the anointing to walk over my life this year i expect the anointing to walk in the ministry in every area expect the anointing to walk in your business expect the anointing to walk in your family don't sit down and expect life to be casual don't draw your graph arithmetically draw it spiritually hmm. 
in the realm of the spirit two plus two is not four it depends on what god adds to the equation two plus two can be one thousand god can complete the rest that's what his grace is all about so don't walk as if you are alone listen he said for with god with god with god without god many things are impossible but with god I told God during my retreat, I said, Lord, I want to walk with you like never before. I believe that if I walk with you, my life will be episodes of signs and wonders. Brothers and sisters, what you see us enjoy as a ministry, among many things, is the lavish benefit of the anointing of the Holy Spirit. When the anointing is upon your life, it's upon your life. You will command unending results. Unending results. The things God has done in my life already from January till now are almost enough. If he never does anything throughout this year again, I'm grateful. Expect favor to walk. There is an anointing. Expect favor to walk, brothers and sisters. Expect the healing anointing to walk in your life. Expect the mantle of honor to walk in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Believe in the anointing many people ignore the anointing because we think it's not necessary don't get into that kind of business i believe in the anointing acts chapter 10 verse 38 says how god anointed jesus even jesus had to be anointed to be effective how god anointed jesus of nazareth the crowds that come to this ministry the thousands that follow from all the nations of the world is the anointing how much publicity can you do is the anointing are we together the results and the testimonies the miracles the signs the wonders the influence the prosperity everything is the anointing you must make up your mind to embrace the anointing for every season there is a grace that goes with it you not only receive the prophetic word you receive the grace that makes it happen if i send you i have told you the message but i must give you the money you can have the message and not have the money you will still not do anything if I send you and I say, go and buy me biscuit. After I've told you what I want and you are ready to go. But then I, I know how much biscuit is cost. Then I'll give it to you. And sometimes I will give you more in case the price has increased. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but brothers and sisters, this is my year of triumph. I believe it with all my heart. God is not a joker. I am not too proud. To accept the word of God for my life. Triumph in every area. I'm walking in extraordinary miracles. I'm walking in extraordinary dimensions of wisdom. Extraordinary dimensions of grace. I'm already prophesying to myself. You can speak your own. I'm walking in supernatural dimensions of health. No sickness whatsoever. I have no covenant with death. No covenant with sickness. It's a year my graph of progress is a straight line this year. In the name of Jesus, regardless of the challenges that come, the wisdom to surmount them is already at work in my life. I decree and declare that favor surrounds me like a shield. Extraordinary results by the Spirit. The wisdom of God defying the strategies of men. That's what I call the year. That's what I call 2017. I call it a year of extreme favor from January to December favor follows me like a shield the Lord is a shield for me I'm prophesying over my year that's what I believe Lord you have declared that it's my year of triumph and I receive it I take you seriously my year of extraordinary breakthrough men are rising from everywhere to bless me this ministry is growing to new dimensions flourishing men of prayer men of fire men of revelation men of influence men of character men of godliness as a ministry there's massive salvation of souls this year extraordinary miracles by the hand of God diligent workers men and women who love the purposes of the kingdom and whatsoever adam called it that was his name thereof no sorrow this year i exempt it from my life no sorrow this year i exempt it from my life 
no sorrow this year. I exempt it. The anointing goes before me. The anointing goes into every month, making every crooked path straight. Can you rise up and turn all this into a prayer? Name your 2017. Name it. Come on. Everything that represents triumph for you. I can't be falling sick this year. No, I reject sickness. I reject living from hand to mouth by the wisdom and the favor of God. I'm an extraordinary man of God. Are you praying? I access deep dimensions of revelations, deep dimensions of the anointing. The miracle working power of God is lavishly at work in my life. A greater dimension of His presence upon my life. Greater signs, greater wonders, greater testimonies. I pray like never before. I fast like never before. I study the world like never before. I rise to new levels of influence. My light is shining. Gentiles go to my light. They are kings to the brightness of my rising. Favor all the way. Favor all the way. Favor all the way. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm a well watered garden. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to fear their fear. Recession is far from my life. Recession is far from this ministry. In the name of Jesus, no death, no death, no death. The earth is obedient to my voice. No death. I rise above every enchantment. I rise above every witchcraft. I rise above every necromancy. The activity of the dark world. Immune to their causes. Immune to their spells. Prophesy. My year of triumph. Celebration all the way. This is a year that I serve God like never before. This is a year that I give to the kingdom like never before. I'm a kingdom financier. In the name of Jesus, the floodgates of heaven are open over me. This is a year of strange visions. Strange visions. Strange encounters with the Holy Ghost. Are you praying, Koinonia? You are declaring over your year. Every department in this ministry is functioning at optimal level. In the name of Jesus, we record groundbreaking testimonies of the hand of God. Koinonia is contributing in a major way to advance in the kingdom this year. Massive salvation of souls by equipping of the saints.
Noches of sorrow, noches of sorrow, noches of sorrow, noches of sorrow. I stop it in advance. I stop it in advance. Noches of regret. I stop it in advance. Noches of sorrow. number two I must emerge victorious over every battle I will not lose one battle this year lift your voice and pray no 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 not a financial battle not a marital battle are you praying Koinonia? not an academic battle thanks be to God who causes me always always to triumph are you praying there shall be no losses there shall be no losses there shall be no losses thanks be to God who causes me always who causes me financially who causes me spiritually who causes me in ministry to triumph Hallelujah. Listen, we are praying. Listen, times of triumph. Listen, times of triumph are also times when war must end because a victor must be there. Are we together? There are many of us who have been dragging with too many things. Today is as if you are the winner. Tomorrow is as if it defeated you. You are going to prophesy. This must be my year of completion. A victor must emerge over this issue. Lift your voice and pray. Supernatural completion. Over that sickness. I can't be healthy today and sick tomorrow. My year of completion. Over that project, my year of completion. Over my family, my year of completion. The hand of Zerubbabel, the hand of Zerubbabel, that begun this work, that same hand must complete it. Is my year of completion. A year of completion by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Listen. There are many of us, God started speaking to us, but you got part instruction, and the other part has refused to be downloaded, and so you are grounded. You are going to say, Lord, this is the year when your voice will be clear. I'm tired of confusion in my life. I must hear that voice saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Lift your voice and pray. Confusion. I'm tired of wondering whether I should take a job or not. I'm tired of wondering whether I should be in Zaria or not. I'm tired of wondering whether I should be in ministry or not. I'm tired of wondering whether I should marry or not. Whether I should be in business or not. Lord, let me hear your voice. And with it, let me hear the instructions for my next level. End confusion in my life. End confusion in my life.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the spirit of boldness. The Bible says the righteous is as bold as a lion. The challenges that many of us will see, let me tell you the truth. When you see it physically, it will look like a Goliath. But David ran to him and said, you come against me with your spears. Now is the time where you need to run to some challenges. Whether they are ready for battle or not, you say, no, I'm ready now. Finances, I'm ready now. Spiritual life, I'm ready now. Lift your voice and cry for an impartation of boldness. Boldness. No more fear. I will face it. No more fear. I will face it. No more fear. I will face that business and try it. No more fear. I will face this issue of joblessness and conquer it. No more fear. I will face my academics and conquer it. No more fear. I face my fears. I confront them. I no longer will run away from them. I face my fears. I face my fears. I face my fears. It's my year of triumph. Hallelujah. Fire is burning in this place. Two more prayer points. You are going to say, Lord, give me speed. I ask you for it. Give me speed. I don't want to move at the pace I moved last year. Lift your voice and pray. Give me speed. Speed in ministry. Speed in my spiritual life. Give me speed. The result of 10 years. Let me produce it this year. The result of 10 years. Let me produce it this year. Give me supernatural speed. 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 Hasten your word. Hasten your word. Hasten your word over my life. Hasten your word. Hasten your word. Hasten your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. And then we are done this night. Hold on. Hallelujah. Listen. One last prayer point. The Bible says the light shines in darkness. The light shines in darkness. From January till December, everything you are going to be hearing on this pulpit will be an unveiling of divine strategies god instructed me this year he said let the people of god understand these mysteries my assignment to koinonia this year is to open you up to the strategies that produce giants in this kingdom i will show you mysteries that if not oh, that god showed me i will not even teach it I told you there are personalized dealings of a man with God. There are secrets that are for a man and his covenant with God alone that control great power. God said, don't hide anything from your people. Teach them. The mysteries you have kept, the mysteries that have produced results in your own life and that you have learned from people, mysteries that are not obvious, mysteries that are not taught in pastor's conference, mysteries that are not taught to the public. You don't buy them in tapes. The secrets behind the making of men you are going to pray and say father may my eyes see may my ears hear 
and may my spirit receive these divine strategies lift your voice and pray for every koinonia service lord i'm not ready to waste my time this year divine strategy the mystery behind the making of giants the mystery behind the making of stars the mystery behind men becoming systems of earth hallelujah hallelujah I just I just had something in my spirit and let me add it as a prayer point and the Lord is saying that we should pray and ask him to roll away every shame this year listen to roll away every shame you can excel in one area yet another area is not working Naaman was a captain but he was leprous I like you to say Lord every shame every 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 shame it must be rolled away this year take it from my life lift your voice and pray i don't know what area you have seen shame but brothers and sisters cry to the god of heaven take the reproach away from my life take the reproach away from my life take the shame away from my life that's what the lord is saying we should ask him take away the shame from our families hallelujah hallelujah let me prophesy over your life in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every prophetic word from God as revealed may it come to pass in your life this year in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that everything that hitherto has been a hindrance to the word of God performing in your life this year it is swallowed up by the message of God I decree and declare over your life hear me every legal access Satan has had to make sure prophecy does not come to pass on legal ground the blood speaks for you this year in the name of Jesus Christ listen one of my assignments this year is to make sure you prosper financially you must criticize me say whatever I must make sure the people of God prosper this year I pray for you in advance the wisdom and the favor these twin forces that have produced wonders in the financial realm the mystery of wisdom and the mystery of favor may it work in your life this year in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare you will not lose any single battle this year you will not lose any single battle this year if Satan had his way he will kill me crumble this ministry make every koinonia message around the world to disappear all of a sudden in everybody's phone if he can do that he can beat his chest and say I've tried ah but there's a song that says Satan shame unto you you know the song don't sing it oh <laughs> we make our boast in the Lord in the next few minutes we are going to so rubbish the devil in this place let me tell you first of October we'll let, we'll let the devil know what is in Nigeria he has tasted what is in America what is in Russia what is in this and then you see your life change a miracle is a wonder that, that the limit oh, hold his hands try to stop him two of you you know that game they used to play that you try oh yeah do it now yeah. don't, no, don't, don't draw him too much sorry you are not very kind 
Now, watch this. Are you seeing that now? This guy can be growing old every year. You are celebrating birthday and nothing is moving in your life. Because there is a devil somewhere determined to make sure you don't rise. Let me tell you my assignment. This is me now coming into this equation. My, my assignment is not to cut what is there. My assignment is to carry this like this, this one. Because you see, I can cut what is there and pass. You can enjoy breakthrough while you are about to go. He's going to hold you and say, come back. Apostle has gone. So the, the job has not been done. My assignment by the grace of God is to carry this mountain you are seeing and carry it out of the way. One, that's number one. That's not all. Then my assignment is to turn you to the direction. That's where prophecy is powerful. And then turn what would have come to you from that delay. If I leave you like this, you are not oppressed, but you, are, you still don't have breakthrough. You are free from oppression, but you have not entered your inheritance. So you can't testify. But whatever that is, when it comes to you and you go to it, and then I leave you, my job is to... And, and the thing is that all these things happen through words. The word that is sent to supervise and make sure you get to your inheritance. And then by next week, you are coming with an employment letter and you are on your knees saying, God, what is this? What is this? Then two weeks later, five people, all barring in your family, are saying, ah, I, I, I think I'm pregnant. Then you just remember, ah, what has happened? A man of God that you have space for 500 people in your church and yet you see 10 people, 15. During a convention, they grow to 30. By the time service is finishing, there's 20 back. And all of a sudden, something happens. And one spectacular miracle happens by the next Sunday in a way that even the critics say, I'm here in your church today to watch what happened. And you said, I never believed I would buy canopy for an overflow. But the anointing. God brought you here to change your life. Listen to me. I repeat. God brought you here to change your life. He didn't bring you to just be happy that a program koinonia. No. This is a miracle service. A miracle service is not a teaching service. I will take out time and teach you. But this is a miracle service. There are some of you, you may not be sick, you may not be oppressed, but you need to carry something that ends every argument. Result, my brothers and my sisters, is the end of every argument. I can lie to you, or you can deceive me that you are having a pocket square, and I can argue because I'm not seeing it. But if you bring out a pocket square and I see it, this is the end of the argument. It would be stupid to still argue. At that point, you will let everybody know you are a madman. This is the result. Could it be that you have been talking too much? Let the anointing talk. Ah, I, will, I will build the house. I know God is faithful. I will do this. And God is saying, no. Moses only spoke small. And then the rod kept talking. You have been talking forever. Some of you, you are here in this meeting because there is a rod that God will give you. You stood before the Red Sea for forever. It refused to part. But God brought you here to carry something. That you go back with it and it will shock you, my brothers and my sisters. That that Red Sea will part and you will call your family and say, finally. We've been wondering how to build a bridge but we found an easier road. That the river can part. Tonight, I want you to know that God wants to do this, number one, because he loves you. But number two, there is a dimension of glory only your results can bring to him. Don't ever let anyone fool you. Hearing is our father glorified. John 15 and verse 8. This is how I am glorified. Galatians chapter 1 verse 29 says, And they glorified God in me. Not that they glorified God on the throne. They looked at my life. They saw that God can do this. You, no father, no mother. Who gave you the job? Who did you know from the top? 
you are a man of God I used to know your father as a wheelbarrow pusher and you say my brother is what God can do if it is the Lord's doing it is marvelous in our eyes for as long as your life is ordinary your ministry is ordinary your business is ordinary you will continue to explain and explain and argue and explain and explain and explain let me tell you God takes away shame from our lives by giving us results did you hear what I said God does not take away shame by explaining anything to anybody he does something in your life and he does it in a way like Julius Berger will build a house and put B God will do it and put his signature they'll say no this business cannot be human I hear testimonies of people every time the things that God does in and through their lives a wonder please let your heart be open no oh. Don't let the devil make you come here and waste your time. Whether you are outside overflow, one overflow, two overflow, three online, whatever nation you are following, just listen. I believe him. I may not claim I know everything about him, but this God, when God decides to stand up from his throne, he said, now arise from your throne. God can stand up. Have you heard that the earth is his footstool? So when he decides to stand up and say, who has made the cry of my daughter to continue coming? The Bible says, even the mountains keep like lambs. My God is mighty. Our unbelief many times is the reason why God does not move. We come and sit down and pile up. Some of you have come with all kinds of forms and pictures and that's wonderful. But you are there wondering, can you move, oh God, concerning my money? Can you move concerning my money? Can you move concerning my health? Can you move concerning my wife? And God is saying, yes, I can. I am willing and I'm able. And then the devil comes very quickly and says, if God could move, didn't man of God pray for you in, by March? Didn't your pastor fast seven days for you? And you say, it's true. Oh, that's the devil. Tonight, your faith must be open. Your faith must rise to the heavens to say, Lord, I don't want to leave this place just knowing I'm blessed. I want to know what happened to me. I want to hold a substance. God is speaking to someone here. This, this sharing the grace and saying, ah, were you blessed? Oh my God, miracle service was powerful. That's not a blessing, no. You can hold on to something and know that I left this place. What happened? The pain is gone. I left this place. What happened? That before the grace is shared you check your phone and all of a sudden a text that you have been waiting for for five years now that's an evidence this is what we are talking about all of a sudden you are sitting down while you are seeing me preach you have been trusting God for that prophetic grace and while the preaching is going all of a sudden your eyes are open you are saying so this is what apostle is saying and you are seeing the power of God touching somebody and then you hear me say there's someone here and you are saying my God I've gotten this Elisha knew when he got it Elisha knew when he got it he went to the sea where is the Lord God of Elijah and the river parted you are trusting God for the grace for revelation that before the meeting is over all of a sudden scriptures it's as if it's an injection from your spirit you are just connecting one revelation to this and you're saying I, I can't remember studying this and then you discern that something is happening something is happening that heaviness has gone where is the fear yesterday night i couldn't sleep the fear of death is gone listen philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 says that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ if you don't expect it and you don't pay attention to it if i ask this gentleman to give me water i'm expectant i'm not expecting a handkerchief i'm expecting water anything i see that looks like water is attracting my attention a double-minded man let that man not think he will receive anything from god 
Thank God for people falling and flying up and down. But your eyes is stayed like a flint. Lord, I left Lagos this morning and I came here. I left Bielsa and I came here. My car almost had an accident. Lord, I would have been in a convention now as a man of God. I left it to be here. I'm looking for something. Let something come from heaven. And your hunger is like a force that is drawing something from heaven. And all of a sudden, boom, I tell you, in one minute, I remember many years ago when I was standing in the rain at Bonke Crusade, there were crowds of people like this. I didn't know what who wore, whether you wore red or green or blue. My eyes were fixed. Lord, what did you give this man that made every nation to open to him? What kind of man is this that no one criticizes him? Papa, I didn't just go there to receive anointing for miracles alone. No. When it came, I knew that I got it. I knew that I got it. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, you can know that the Lord has been lifted. You can know that the prayer has been answered. You can know that the project is a done deal. Are we together? The grace is here. More than available for you. And whilst we begin to pray, don't just watch others receive. Be sensitive. You are the one who knows what you are here for. Are we together? In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and cry. Mention specifically, why are you here? Talk to the Lord. Please pray. Please pray. Pray with all your heart. Lord, I had a young man testify that you gave him properties. I had a young lady, born, had never smelled. She was not in a miracle service, just listening to a message. And all of a sudden, the healing power of God touches that lady and that's it. Lord, I'm tired of this lump. Lord, I'm tired of this medical report. I'm tired of watching my mother cry, my father cry. I'm tired of my ministry not growing. I'm tired of staying at a particular level in the anointing. Lord, I've heard testimonies of favor. I have an idea of what happens when a man is carrying favor. But Lord, I don't see it yet in my life. I'm here tonight for this one reason. Lord, even after the deliverance series, I've been seeing certain things happen in my life and my family that pre-informs me that I will still need a second touch a second touch over my family my loved ones are not born again Lord I can't watch them go to hell like this Don't be tired of praying. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Lord, I'm not going back with this disease. I'm not going back with this medical report. No way. No way. No way. I insist. I'm not going back barren. Tired of miscarriages.
creator of the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus one more time creator creator of the universe what can you do what can you do Jesus I want you to see the Lord lifting your burden you're the name above every other name what can you change what can you change Jesus you are I will continue to read it for you Isaiah chapter 61 please give it to us the messianic prophecy Jesus's own manifesto he's saying this is what I came to do Isaiah 61 it says the Spirit of the Lord we are reading from verse 1 to 4 is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Start looking for your own as I'm reading. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those that mourn. 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beautiful ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified for and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations they shall repair waste cities he says the desolations of many generations i like you to pray whatever needs to be fixed in your life and family insist that tonight is the night when it will happen overflow one pray overflow two overflow three by the roadside those following from around the world open up your heart and pray from the depth of your heart hallelujah hallelujah the Lord just showed me something like a train you know a speed train not like we have it now just like a train just pass like this and I believe in my spirit that that is a typology of a grace for speed listen we're going to pray now and 
like I always say, you'll find out when I pray, you're going to see people running around in and out. Please just guide them and bring them out. Ushers, whether you are an usher or not, the ushers can only do so much. I want to pray. Once I pray that prayer, listen, please, I don't want you to get, listen, please, hold on. I don't want, it, the idea is not about people falling down, carrying them. Please, let your spirit be open. Be open for when your word will come. Be open for when God will visit and locate you. That, that's, that's what you're here for. So I want to pray that prayer now. Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of those people at Overflow 1. A lot of the people who will be affected by this prayer are in Overflow 1, the Overflow outside. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in Overflow 1, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at Overflow 1 outside. Now, listen. When there is no speed in your life, listen. Imagine that I have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and i'm tiptoeing on one leg am i moving yes sir but when will you arrive there the pressure that you will mount on this leg it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it and so god when he wanted elijah to move because he had already been delayed the bible says the hand of the lord came upon elijah he was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is I'm ready to shift you that within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done. Three days. This powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years it happened in three days by the end of three days jesus had ascended poured his blood returned back he was ready it was now to launch the church big things don't have to take plenty time when the hand of god comes upon you you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast are you ready now lift your hands i want to pray i will do the praying Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus, let that anointing right now. I shift men. Speed, Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Please help them whether you are an usher or not. Speed! Speed in the name of Jesus. I command everything that has refused to move in your life. I move it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. The Holy Ghost is moving you. Except this prayer is not for you. 
there is an anointing that must shift you must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just, just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service Shekete karakatosh Embrakata katoka telakata Lift your hands please I'm praying For some of you now It's the same prayer But it's no longer just for you You may not be experiencing it But your family needs speed The anointing now is moving from individuals to families Lord where are the families That need the shift of the Holy Ghost I decree and declare right now I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace families be shifted now speed 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 I decree it I declare it I decree it and I declare it no more delay I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. yes i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the lord is saying that he's shifting things i'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let that chain be broken let that chain i command that devil i'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three 
everyone shout Jesus as you shout Jesus I see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now one two three in the name of Jesus I crush Satan I crush his works inside outside I command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Now listen. Overflow one, listen to me. Listen, you don't have to touch me. Please, you don't have to touch me. But in the name of Jesus, hear me. The Lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone. As soon as I pass here, I don't have to come close to you. You are going to feel fire all, all over. That fire, that will be the end of it. You must testify. Right now, I stretch my hands. Right, right now. It's over, over now. Shakos kata adika, eketo sata rikata, embreketo sheketa, akato shekriaka, manta brekotos. Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I curse it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I curse it now. Please help your neighbors so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire by fire by fire it leaves you now those of you here i want you to lift your hands overflow two overflow two lift your hands let me go to the front there enough is enough as i pass this place listen i want you to be very sensitive there is a strong anointing tonight overflow two please help your neighbors i'm only going to pass here right there as soon as i come close to you except god is not god if there is any force holding you holding your life and your ministry it must go right now right now in jesus name be free be free now be free now be free now i command those devils go 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 let them go 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 now release them release them release them every covenant release them i break that power now 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 
be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen. I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two, let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow three, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands and see praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three, Shout Jesus! Bring them out! That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Shaprakato shekete skaba embrekato koto shabaria. Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow 3. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you, you will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream, someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three, shout Jesus. I command those devils. One, two, three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata preketish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you. I speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 
go let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah i'm inside this place now and i'm standing in the spirit i've not started impartation yet but the lord is showing me the number 12 and the lord is saying there are 12 people here there is a strong call upon your life there is a mighty anointing lord where are they shakatos kapakarikata drink of that wine mantekatos ketekekata shaprakata a ministry of signs and wonders ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders i'm still praying the anointing of the spirit is still locating men i don't know why god is talking about ministry the call don't run away from the call don't run from the call a ministry of signs and wonders the lord is telling someone you are the liberator of your family a ministry of signs 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 there are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing i'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and i stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what god is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive i decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen i'm seeing oh my god the lord is opening my eyes here i'm i'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father i don't know if i'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house i'm not saying you're a bad person please i'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three oh, oh, oh yeah please who is that person come i want to break that thing now from your life please quickly please make sure you hear what i say before you come just let make way for them Mm. the power of witchcraft young man you're going to be a mighty man of god i don't know you lift your hands an anointing is coming upon you now huh? it will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder or let that anointing come upon him right now in the name of jesus christ hold my hands my dear the power of idols in the name of jesus i break that force now i break that force now i break that force now testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah i'm praying listen i stretch my hands towards you and i speak i don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in jesus name i'm stretching my hands 
why am i seeing fire leaving my hands who is it looking for in the name of jesus christ I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. Whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Out. Out. Now. Now. This lady wearing a red hair tie. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a grace that is coming. Let that anointing come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that anointing come upon you. Hallelujah. Overflow 3. I'm seen by the Spirit. The Lord is opening my eyes. And I'm seeing the names of members of your family. Like written already. Written already. I'm going to pray. Listen. Except God has not sent me. As I'm praying. Some of you instantly the power of God will come upon you and God is going to open your eyes. You are going to see victory and deliverance. In fact, I see a family where three of your siblings, they've married. None of them has a child. None of them at all has a child. They've done everything to do, but there's no child. But I stand in the name of the Lord. Father, where are those families? Right now, like a mighty wind. Shakos like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the Holy Ghost, I release you. My dear, hold my hands to you. I'm seeing that your life is about to change. Two weeks from now, it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life. I decree and I declare it over your life. I stand by the anointing and I pray for you. Father, according to your word, within two weeks, turn this lady's life around. Supernaturally. In the name of Jesus. Emeka, who is Emeka? Emeka, I'm hearing a name Emeka, Overflow 3 here. I'm just talking to Overflow 3 people. Emeka, Emeka, please quickly, please quickly, don't waste that time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray, what do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place, you came for NYSE. I want to pray lift your hands because i'm seeing look at me 
the Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it. But every prosperity that does not have an assignment will end up destroying the people. You love Jesus with all your heart? I want to pray for you. It will surprise you the way God will begin to turn things around in your life. Father, change this gentleman's story in the name of Jesus forever. Overflow 3, I'm still praying. The spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people. I will count four at the fourth count. One, two, three. Where are they, oh God? Four. Nine people. Nine people. The spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. All of you, open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything you desire, overflow three. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the Spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. 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 Be broken now. Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now, I decree. Overflow. Two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name who is Gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan Gabriel Maroon Kaftan. Is there someone like that? What's your name? Do I know you? Lift your hands, my brother. God is about to change your life. God is about to turn your life around. Uh, where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. You love Jesus? What is... Is it Oleku or Aleku? What is that? Huh? Huh? Where are you from? Benway State. You are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you, come quickly. Please. Low, low, low like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, what do you do, my friend? You're a student, you love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on you. husband and wife. Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So my friend, you love God, eh? but you see, um, 
Look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, no, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what I see, my friend. I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us. Because the demons that destroy our lives work by bringing wrong friends. They make you compromise your values. It's not your fault. But when they come, they are vocal about what they believe. And because you do not have a community of like-minded believers. But let me tell you the truth. It matters who you listen to. If the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of Ahitophel, God may be calling you to a great ministry, but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life. I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus, if you are under the yoke of wrong friends, I stand and I speak right now. May the Lord set you free this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, there is favor on your life, but it's not speaking at all. Hmm? You are a nice lady. Come. I'm looking at you. I'm seeing a young lady, but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back. See, wickedness is real. Oh. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, wickedness is real. Huh? This is a young, beautiful lady. You see her standing, but you now look at it. Do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen i want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of god make sometimes i can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced i will i will interpret the vision i've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married I would now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh, you do you know what it means to be a witch? <laughs> so uh, God is you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help, but it doesn't mean imagine that I look at this lady now and say, My dear, you're a witch. No. This is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. It takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways? Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here. You find out, for instance, the moment you enter a relationship, come for instance, as you mean... I enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business but just because I married this lady, I start going down. And now you meet a man of God and if, the man, if you're in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady Huh? we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bringing, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you are a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands I decree and declare ah. I'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of Jesus I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. 
I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is in the name of Jesus? The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke complete stroke the devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe but we're going to destroy that now in the name of jesus hold my hands i decree and declare be free now by the power of the holy spirit madam i don't know you but ah you please come Hi. this is your first time coming i need to pray for you what do you do ma you are jobless ma Huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit two of your hands are tied there is nothing you do that works and prospers it's not normal you are a very good woman please don't be embarrassed I hope I'm not embarrassing you I want to pray for you I give you three weeks 21 days ma your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you I lay my hands right now and I declare I'm seeing chains leaving you I command those chains to go father turn her life around in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please open your mouth and begin to pray hold on hold my hands in the name of jesus christ i open that closed door now i open that closed door now by the power of the holy ghost please open your mouth and begin to pray everyone open your mouth and pray The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now, I uproot it now, I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest? I served, my father served and died. And Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives, even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please, quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man. But I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad? Your father is a priest. Currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now everything they have given you to drink and eat i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i set you free now be gone now out let it leave her i'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life but in the name of jesus Hi. jesus power is really superpower really superpower 
that in one moment something that has been done in a lifetime can leave out now everything that is not of god our father is a priest or not an uncle direct father imagine how many times she has been involved in all of these things but in jesus name you are set free this this man too why is he here look at my eyes just look at my eyes you are receiving the healing anointing now huh? in the name of jesus christ lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes i honestly wish that this is because there are so many things i see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what i said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with god your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of jesus i take away distraction from her life right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i take away distraction i take away distraction okay we have we've not even prayed for the sequel my dear come this lady waving your hands come quickly your life is about to change come where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. Yes, I'm here with my husband. Husband, yeah. where are you, sir? Let's clap for the husband. <laughs> Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with your... Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, working. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing. You will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time are you a man of god stand up stand up take that anointing now in the name of jesus you step into a new dimension i take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry from today you step into a realm of signs wonders miracles in the name of jesus can i pray for you sir look at me hold my hands hold my hands just hold it with both of your hands in the name of jesus i transfer grace signs and wonders strange testimonies your business between now and 30th of november sir your finances will change you and your wife in ways that will surprise you you will come back and testify in the name of jesus christ this man waving your hands come together with that woman by your side who is she come please two of you quickly let's appreciate them as they come oh, 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 oh. you sir i want to pray for you ah. madam i'm looking at you you're a nice woman but i'm seeing you carrying a load huh i'm seeing you like this and i'm seeing a load on your head and if i don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you i want to pray for you where are you coming from sir? are you new here uh, by elsa by elsa hmm. all the way i think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir I'm a pastor. You're a pastor. You're in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. You're an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes. How long has it been? 
Okay, I was with, uh, about four years now in Barisa. But you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Hmm. Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you are an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month. And then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio. And then oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady. This one. This one. This lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator. The same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine, sir. I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody, it's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare, your life turns around from today. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness. 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 Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus be healed from it now I command that devil that virus go now in the name of Jesus you go and write your test bring back your results go listen I, can we you see how sometimes this thing we are really constrained that's why we do our best the healing anointing is already flowing God wants to heal maybe I will just pray I will just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, 
I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now. I pray for you. The power of God is going to come upon you. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Praise the Lord. We may not take all the testimonies. But since we have chosen this method now. As soon as I pray, I ask you to check yourself. You will be surprised what has happened to you. And whether you are in overflow one, two, or three, I'm going to ask you to run very quickly. You're going to come right here. Pastor Jimmy will be here with Pastor Alpha. They will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that. Um, how many of you brought your prayer request? Let me see. Did you bring your prayer request? Okay, ushers, this is what you, I want you to do. PR department, help them. Protocol, please help them. While I'm praying for the sick, I think we can do it too. Your prayer request, please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers. Just lift it. The ushers have a system of collecting it. You don't have to be rowdy. Those outside. You can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion. You can have that very quickly, please. Lay your hands now. I want to pray. Jesus. A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name Please agree with me, everyone, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare right now. Those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. I'm, I'm praying now. Every spirit of infirmity, please make sure you are hearing me, overflow one, two, three. Every spirit of infirmity, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I curse you now. I curse you now. Say amen. I curse you now in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Be healed, my God. The power of God is touching people already. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three by the roadside, be healed in the name of Jesus. Now I command every blood condition be healed from it now in Jesus' name. Peptic ulcer, the Lord is healing ulcer right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lumps, all kinds of lumps, multiple lumps. I command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a number of people having um hepatitis the lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the holy ghost eye conditions in the name of jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name 
there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before i started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside i'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our facebook page or you can find a way to post it i want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and i'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. Make your way. Be bold. Don't be ashamed. Make your way as soon as the power of God has touched you. Back pain since hold last on, year. Hold on, hold on, just a moment, please. All make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected, please. I want you to wave it. Jesus is still healing people. You just come join the queue. God bless you. Yes, please. Back pain since last year. Can you sit for a, a few minutes? Just sit for a few minutes, and then we're done. Let's just hear the testimonies. If as you are hearing the testimony, God is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about it in 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really which of them put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes also you mentioned also how long yes. okay where are you from kaduna, sir. kaduna state yes, sir. that's where you are from yes, your state of origin um, no biologically biologically where no, are you from i'm from each but i got i mean i'm brown state there's a reason why i said this there's a lot you don't know where you are from there is a long story leave the issue of healing now where eh? i need to pray for you don't feel bad huh look at me where are your parents who are you staying with my mom and my stepdad at kaduna okay 
It's okay. I'll talk to you, eh? Father, help this gentleman because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now and I declare be free in Jesus' All name. Sir. Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, but you. as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the the lower back pain. It affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her back. Check it now. Check it. Check it. Any pain is gone completely. Give Jesus three praise. Years. <laughs> In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing, and your destiny arises it's a wise bargain is that true in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare never again in your life the power of god is coming on someone in overflow one overflow one please carry the person and bring the person overflow one the overflow by the roadside Overflow 2, sorry. Overflow 2, I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow 1 and nothing happened. I just said overflow 2. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mention the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow two. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain that back she pain. had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today they asked you to ride a gone. horse. Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Yeah. Or just advisors? <laughs> don't, don't, she's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for Koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? You're anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry do your horse thing eh i'm just happy that you are healed so you can go and ride your horse now for fun in the name of jesus you are perfected completely perfected in jesus name i take away this proverb called ikabod over your life and over your family i'm speaking to both of you now from overflow too in the name of jesus i set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to, eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen is by the anointing the spirit entered me when he spake unto me that god is going to use you and change everything in your family in the name of jesus yes go ahead she's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating that resulted in serious back pain how Came old are you now pain this evening sir how old are you now 21 21 and she's had severe menstrual pain yes and she came here with the pain today but the don't pain believe is that thing oh in the name of jesus i cancel it forever amen. say amen. amen by the power of the holy spirit severe menstrual pain goes back to hell in jesus name i pray amen, amen. yes sir. she had headache heaviness in the chest 
heaviness in the chest okay and then she had severe headache and as she prayed for her it totally and, left. and what hiccup She's... the heaviness used to make her hiccup she was even hiccuping during the service but as she prayed she's totally healed god bless you look at me where did you come from kaduna kaduna state you are going back eh? where's your mother she's in bauchi when are you going to see her i'm serving in kaduna so it has to be december december if i if i give you an instruction for your mother will you obey it huh look for 1000 naira recharge card eh? send it to your mother to bless her and watch what happens in your life you just do what i ask you to do it's not some superstition please you get my point it's just a law of honor that will trigger something i release my faith with you your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing but you watch what that play will do in your life in she had ulcer peptic ulcer as she prayed for her she was totally peptic healed. ulcer how long put your hand on your chest in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare peptic ulcer goes back to hell in the mighty name of jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Would feel press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26. you just slump like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil will just wait until you are crossing a bridge then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain sir now. yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind other times only the right one go blind but now he's totally healed he can see with both eyes have you gone to the hospital for this but sometimes you just go blank like that come in the name of jesus put your hands on your eyes i decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ he's had back pain for a long time he's healed now back pain you see god is when there are messages behind miracles you see that god is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation it's not just the bones are what gives structures to a person doctors tell us that means that by this miracle god is speaking through it right like he's doing the miracle of ezekiel 37 the bones coming back it took the bones to come back for an army to rise therefore i'm praying that everything that is out of order out of joint out of place in your life by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how serious long pain 2014 and now he's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah, it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing that, uh, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear yes, oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through but as you mentioned it it's gone now what's your name sir yeah since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely the left ear give totally jesus praise healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. Long How long? Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, she came for the testimony. The menstrual pain also left. 
let it go back to hell and never come to you again in the name of jesus christ she had weak your father's salvation ah we are experts in praying for salvation here you need to find out how god saves people here where it's not that god saves them it's how he saves them that is a sign and a wonder i was preaching the series on um reality of heaven and hell and there was one malam he came for koinonia he was seated outside and while i was praying he, he was studying his, 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 his let me study your hierarchy or what he was studying something like that and then all of a sudden he just i mean koinonia just disappeared and he saw a vision of heaven outside overflow one and the lord jesus was talking to him that's how the guy got born again remember years ago the gentleman that came here that gentleman that belonged to a cult group you you know the the guy that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some herbalist place as soon as i climbed here all that the guy saw was i hope he's still in christ but as far as <laughs> yes the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power and so when he was here and saw power he said ah, there's power here whether it's demonic power or god's power there's really power here in the name of jesus there is grace that saves men we declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ God bless witness you. Was Ill. when we take the last person that would be also that we can yes, in please. overflow three witness overflow three. The pain. so as you went outside and you minister ah, she fell under god the power visited of god. overflow three today oh this miracle service was for overflow three as she fell under the power she stood up perfectly whole. completely it's gone in the name of jesus it never returns to you again yes please go ahead she said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine but and as you prayed come my dear in the name of jesus christ it goes can, her body is even hot you can see that her body is ill cough she, but everything is in the name of jesus christ it goes forever next person okay. please he's had um, back pain for a while during the seven days fasting program yes he was healed but yesterday the symptoms came back but right now he has been permanently what, what was the issue sir back pain back pain come you see that you see the, the thing again i'm telling you miracles are messages in jesus name back pain goes and goes forever yes she's please. had serious kata since 2010 that lasted for three years is, is that kata and came back again but right now she's completely healed completely healed put your hand on your chest lord jesus let this lady be perfected now perfected forever i bring you the anointing of the holy ghost forever healed forever perfected and the lord is saying i should tell you he's bringing restoration restoration to your life in jesus now, name now he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there yes while he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared that's number one because god will always honor faith come my friend then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ecg scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension mm -hmm. drugs but while he stood here the pains disappeared the heaviness left hypertension back to sender back to the devil that sent it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen yes please. her grandfather died of this ulcer pain her father has it her sister has it and then she's also seeing the symptoms but tonight when the case was mentioned she was completely healed you see this these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person grandfather died of it you said father has it father has it mother sister has, sister has it, it. Yes. aunties huh? yes most of my aunties my my younger sister my dad just all of us like where are you from Delta State, in the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I cancel this yoke, not just over your life, but over your family. In the name of Jesus, it's gone now and gone forever. In Jesus you mentioned name. back pain, Apostle. She came for personal prayers last week, just on her own personal um, prayers. As she was going back, she felt like an arrow was shot in her back. Since last week, she has been having that pain, but as you mentioned it, Hold the my pain hands. Is in the name of Jesus, look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Yes. She please. had this pain in her chest. 
on her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Usher, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful, okay? She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything just left in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that that devil goes back to hell. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus Stop. praise. Now, everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Oh, they're still... He's had a very mysterious headache, heaviness that just disappeared now as he mentioned the case. In the name of Jesus, come my friend. It never returns to you again. Every other person that has been touched by the power of God, we declare perfection for your body now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please, I want you to stretch. I want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request. Stretch your hands and I want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost father in the name of jesus we pray over this request we decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost lord let impossible situations please make sure everybody's request is here let impossible situations go please agree by faith as you pray while laying our hands on this request in the name of jesus Jacos Kaprakato Shadebakata Embrekete Koto Shabragados Father in the name of Jesus This is a representation of the faith of your people You are the God that answers prayers I ask oh God that you arise Arise in power Arise in majesty Arise in grace In the name of Jesus Turn the lives of your people around Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Hallelujah. I stand upon this request prophetically. And I agree with you. For some of you, the things you have written here, the truth is that only God can do them. There's no man born of a woman that can do it. In fact, if you read some of the things for us, even us who God has helped will have to doubt and say, ah, but thank God that the request is unto God. Father, we present before you this request. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies. They are supernaturally turned to testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please stand if you can and receive the last prophecy and impartation. I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until, until your life becomes a picture of everything that god has said therefore please i want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit there is a lady you have been seeing you have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of Jesus, every fraternity, every fraternity with the gate of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for those people first. I command that devil to leave you now, once and for all. Once and for all. Hallelujah. I'm praying for someone else. I don't know why God is interrupting me now. There is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you. 
I'm saying once you go to bed, somebody must come to molest you. Whether it's a man, whether it's a woman, whether it's an animal, that must happen to you. You get up and physical things begin to be misplaced. I'm praying right now. Shaka for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of jesus now i pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you i pray for you i stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names i prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore i speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire breakthrough fire let it come upon you now in the name of jesus now i speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic i shift you to the next level of your life please believe it i shift you to the next level of your life for all those in business here and you're trusting God to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow I stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ every helper that must show up between now and october miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by god i pray for you and i connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of jesus christ i connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of jesus christ listen every family here that is saying lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives i'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barring or you are connected to anyone you know trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus we release their miracle children now i'm praying for anyone here trusting god for a job you are trusting god for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting god for a job in the name of jesus i agree with you that between now and October miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around I decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around hallelujah now i want you to say amen to this prayer that i want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing 
and the grace to solve that will kick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of jesus christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when god wants to help you he will carry joseph and put in him an ability to interpret pharaoh's dream joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison i pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of jesus christ now i agree with you whether i uniquely mentioned your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony hallelujah lord in this month of october i'm not I'm, I'm the one asking for you father a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen this has nothing to do with what you are doing on i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names i pray for you may my god bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes finally i pray for you i don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that god brings you into for some of you god has helped you in the area of revelation but you truly need the gifts of the spirit to walk in your life for some of you you have seen the gifts of the spirit work but you need a higher dimension for some of you you need comprehension into the word of god for some of you you need the grace for prayer you are not lazy the grace is just not there for some of you you need faith and courage capacity to believe god for impossible things it doesn't matter what category i stretch my hands and i declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire i stretch my hands to you now let it come upon you right 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 now in the name of jesus christ let it come upon you right now i'm still praying it let it come upon you prophetic fire let it come upon you visions and dreams visions and dreams let it come upon you the grace to interpret visions and dreams let it come upon you the gifts of healing let it come upon you tongues interpretation of tongues the gifts of wisdom the gifts of leadership administration let it come upon you in jesus name father we give you thanks we thank you i decree and declare the blessing that is upon nigeria the grace that has made nigeria indestructible after 58 years may that same grace keep your life intact 
if Nigeria is not dead after 58 years I forbid death from your life in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah you are here and you are saying apostle I need Jesus you heard the prayer of our dear lady here the sister that came requesting for her father in the name of Jesus listen carefully I know we are trying to settle down in the name of Jesus that lady I curse the spirit that that lady you are with I command that devil let her go now look at the kind of wild wild spirit these are the kinds of spirits that that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits in the name of jesus christ i set this lady free dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.